up, peeps, and welcome back to another Space Battle video. My name is Games Done Right. Grab some popcorn, strap yourselves in, and get ready to blast off into this one, because this is 25 cool science experiments you can do at home. Number 25, snow bubbles. And the way to create them is pretty easy. All you need to do is cut a water bottle in half, get some cloth, and a few rubber bands. You need to take half of the bottle where the cap is on it, attach it to the cloth at the bottom of it, and then put the rubber bands around it to keep it on. Once you've done that, just dip the cloth end into some bubbles and blow. After all of that, you'll have a ton of bubbles and it'll appear to look a little bit like snow. Number 24, expanding soap. For this experiment, all you need is a bar of hand soap and a microwave. Put the soap in the microwave for one minute and watch that bad boy raise. Number 23, bouncing and transparent eggs. Now, you're probably asking yourself right now, won't an egg just go splat and not bounce, and maybe something along the lines of, you can't see through an egg, silly. Well, you can actually do both. All you need to do is put an egg in vinegar for 24 hours, and the egg becomes somewhat rubbery and see-through. Just don't try to bounce the egg too high, or it will go splat. Number 22, filtering water. To filter the water, all you need is some dirty water. Now I know that sounds counterintuitive, but an empty water bottle as well, charcoal, tissues, and a mixture of clean sand and gravel. The first step is to cut some holes in the cap of the bottle and then cut the bottom of the bottle completely off. Then you need to put tissues in the bottle, then shortly put some of the gravel and sand in. After that's done, then put the charcoal in, then the rest of the sand and gravel. After all that is done, then put the rest of the tissues in the bottle and start pouring away. After you start pouring the water, you'll notice it's really, really clean. Number 21, changing a flower's color. This is a very simple experiment. All you need to do is put a few food coloring drops into the white flower's water. After a few days, the flower will have changed the color you put in the water. Number 20, magic tree? Who would have known that six tablespoons of table salt, one tablespoon of ammonia, six tablespoons of water, and six tablespoons of liquid laundry bluing could cause crafting paper to grow some crystals? Well, with all those ingredients stirred very, very well and mixed up very well, you could have your own little crystal tree thing going on. Try it for yourself. Number 19, Magic Snow. Do you have any spare diapers laying around? Now, I know that sounds weird, but if you don't, well, you better go get some because this experiment is extremely fun to do. All you need is the padding from diapers and some water, normal or with food coloring in it, and once you have both, just mix them together and before you know it, you have a snow-like substance. This happens because the padding in the diapers absorbs all the wetness and is very good at doing so. Obviously, that's why the diapers. Number 18, creating your own tornado. All you need to perform this experiment is two 2 liter bottles and a tornado tube or tape. If you can't find a tornado tube online or at your local store, then just cut a hole in the cap of both bottles and tape the caps together. The tornado tube just makes things much easier, but all you need to do is just fill one bottle up and leave the other empty. Put the bottle with water on top and give it a good shake and you'll have your very own tornado. Number 17, keeping a balloon from bursting over fire. If you put a balloon over a candle or any fire, you'll notice that it's obviously gonna pop almost instantly. But to counteract that and to keep it from happening, all you need to do literally is just put a little bit of water so it simmers at the bottom and put it over a candle and you'll notice it's not gonna pop. Number 16, slime. For this experiment, you have to buy some powder online called Simply Kids. So once you've done so, just pour it into some water, stir well, and wait anywhere from 5 minutes, and boom, you have yourself some slime. It's literally as simple as that. Number 15, straw through a potato. With this experiment, you'll be learning how to poke a hole through a potato with a straw. And, and yes, I said with the straw, and it's actually really simple to do. First, you'll most likely try to see if it works, and you'll probably fail. This is where we teach you that all you need to do is put a finger over one of the holes, and boom, it's gonna go right through the potato. Number 14, elephant toothpaste. Now, this experiment takes a lot more ingredients than some of the rest, so make sure you pay close attention. You're gonna need to get a baking tray, three tablespoons of warm water, a spoon, 12% hydrogen peroxide, yeast, a water bottle, food dye, a funnel, and dish soap. Once you've all of this, make sure to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in the water bottle alongside with a few drops of food dye and lastly a nice little squirt of dish soap and make sure to stir it real good. Then you will need to pour the yeast in the water and stir it well, make sure to do that too. After you stir the yeast, take the funnel and pour it in the water bottle and boom, watch your experiment come to life. 
Number 13, Screaming Coin. You only need two things to make this experiment work, those being a balloon of any kind and also any change. Once you have both, put the coin in the balloon and blow it up. After you tie the balloon off, just give it a little shake and you'll hear the whistling sound it makes, which resembles a small scream. <gasps> Number 12, Measuring Your Lung Capacity. Have you ever wanted to test out your lung capacity? Well now you can, and this is how. These are the items you need. A measuring cup, a marker, tape, a funnel, a garden hose, a large water jug, and a large bowl of water. Firstly, you need to put a strip of tape going from the bottom of the large water jug to the top. Then, put a funnel into the top of the water jug and then pour 250 milliliters of water into the jug. Keep sure to mark off where the water stops, then pour another 250 milliliters until the jug is filled up. Once you are done doing that, put your hand over the water jug and then turn it upside down. Then, you need to put the jug into the bowl of water shortly after, then put the hose in the jug. Then, blow in the hose and count the marks you've made that aren't in the water anymore. Times that number by 250 and divide it by 1000, and that right there is the exact amount of numbers in liters that you can blow with your lungs. Number 11, Orange Candle. For this experiment, all you need is an orange and a liter. You need to cut the orange, but not through it. Once you've done that, you need to try to get the orange peeling off the orange as much as possible without ripping it. Then take the two halves of the orange apart, taking the orange out of both, but leaving only the stems. Once that is complete, pour some oil into the orange peel and make sure it gets on the stem. Then light the stem, but be patient because it might take a few seconds. Well, then you have your own little orange scented candle. It's pretty awesome. Number 10, Marshmallow Catapult. This experiment can be a little bit too delicious. All you need for this is tape, five marshmallows, a spoon, seven skewers, and a rubber band. You need to start this off with making a triangle shape with the marshmallows and the skewers. Once that's done, take the fourth marshmallow along with the three skewers and make a pyramid shape. Then take the rubber band and put it on top of the pyramid. After all that is finished, take the final skewer and tape it to the spoon on the end of it. Then the final step is to loop the spoon and the skewer through the rubber band, sticking it into the marshmallows. And there you have it, your own little catapult made out of marshmallows, which your next unexpected victim will probably not appreciate. Number 9, Crayon Shirt Design. Did you know that you can take the shavings from a crayon and turn them into a design? Well, surprisingly you can, and the way to do it is to cut out whatever design you want out of a piece of printer paper. Then, you spread the shavings around the design and place two more pieces of printer paper over the shavings. Once that is complete, all you need to do is iron the two pieces of paper, pull them up after a few moments, and voila, you have yourself a shirt with your own personal design made from your crayons. Simple, yet effective. Number 8, Microwave a Light Bulb. Here's another simple experiment, all you need is a glass of water and a light bulb. Place the light bulb in the water and then put it in the microwave and turn it on. Surprisingly, doing this will power up the light bulb. Number 7, Picking up ice with string. All this experiment requires is a piece of string and an ice cube and also a little bit of table salt. Make sure to wet the string a little before trying this because it does help. Then you need to put the string on the ice cube and sprinkle just the teeniest bit of salt on top and boom! Wait about 30 to 60 seconds and... Boom, you got yourself a little ice cube on a string. Number six, how to see sound. Have you ever wanted to see sound? Well, now you can and it's simple as well. Make sure you got these ingredients. First, some plastic wrap, sprinkles, a bowl, and a plate. Place the bowl on top of the plate, then take the plastic wrap and make sure to take out enough to cover the entire bowl. Once that is done, just put some sprinkles on the plastic wrap, get close, and start making sounds or just hum. Either way, you're still going to be able to see the sprinkles move to every sound you make. Number 5, Static Electricity. Have you ever taken a balloon and just rubbed it onto your head? Well, if not, then you should, because when you do and slowly take it away, you can see just how crazy your hair can really get. You can also rub it on your head and then take it away and see how others' hair will also react. Or you can see how it reacts to paper, because paper sometimes can stick to it. Number four, making water rise. Have you ever wanted to feel like God, if that's even possible? Well, you can control water yourself just with these few ingredients. A plate, some water, a glass cup, a match, a penny, and a lighter. You're going to want to bend the match in half and put the penny on the bent part, making the match stand up on the plate. Once this is done, pour just enough water on the plate just to cover the penny. Then you light the match and put the cup over it, so then after the match spurts out, the water is going to start to rise. Number 3, Balancing a Cup on a Knife For this experiment, you're going to need 3 bottles, 3 knives, a cup with water, and a cup without water. Once you get these things, you'll need to place the bottles in a triangle formation all the same lengths apart. You then need to put the knives on top of the bottle with the shape ends all going towards the middle, having them going under and over one another. Once you do this, you should be able to put the empty glass on top of the knives. If you've done this correctly, you can easily pour the water into the glass without it falling over. Number 2, Shoebox Oven. 
All you need to make your own little oven shoebox is a piece of black paper, tin foil, tape, a knife, a marker, and any material that's transparent. First, you want to put some tin foil around the bottom of the box, make sure to tape it down so it doesn't come off easily. Then cut the top to look somewhat similar to a door, you'll understand why in just a moment. But for now, you need to make the transparent material over the hole you just cut. Then put some tin foil on the flap that is sticking up, make sure to put a small stick or something to hold up the flap just a little bit. Don't forget the black piece of paper, that needs to go at the bottom of the box. Then lastly, put whatever food you want to make warm in the box and then just gossip fun, you know, play some Minecraft or something while you're waiting. Number 1. Watermelon Smoothie All you need to make some delicious watermelon smoothies is a watermelon, obviously, a knife, a metal coat hanger, a pair of pliers, a drill, and a plastic cup. You need the knife to cut a small square hole into the watermelon. After that is done, you need to cut the side of the coat hanger with pliers. Once that is done, take the side you cut off and place it into the drill. This is where the magic truly happens. Shove the coat hanger end into the watermelon and turn the drill on, but make sure to stir up the whole watermelon. After that is done, then you can cut a plastic cup in half, then cut a bigger hole in the watermelon so the cup can fit. The cup is to make it easier to pour the smoothie. But after all that hard work, you can just chill back in the afternoon sun drinking your watermelon smoothie. And that concludes 25 science experiments you can do at home.